So we've got a an even turtle cat mix here. Okay, when I approve this transaction, this is history. Okay, this is my first green print fusion. I don't want to touch my mouse. I am terrified. Oh! Uncommon Ascendant Orb! Green prints were fused successfully. Oh my gosh. NFTs used for GP fusion have been consumed. Selenium cost has been consumed. Wow. Okay, so I got an, an uncommon ascendant orb. Let's go! Green print fusion here is one of the steps in order to get to our sweet anima armor. Alright, so to boost our green print, we're gonna need to use 10 green prints of the same rarity. So I've got uncommon here. The list is right here, so we've got common. I've only got uh, 6 common. And I've got 12 uncommon. I've got 12 uncommon because I've been crafting these green prints. I've got two epics and one legendary. So, but before we get into that, I'll sh explain to you what I've been doing to create those green prints to fuse them and what happens when you fuse them and why we're fusing them. I'm also going to be going over green print boosting where we're going to take uh, one of our green prints right here and we're gonna select fuse it with an ascendant orb and that is going to boost the stats of this green print in order to give us eventually a better uh, success rate and ultimately better stats for our anima armor that we craft so going back here we're gonna do another uh, crafting, here we go. And so the way that I've been making these uncommons is by crafting with my two epics and two uncommons. And I've been getting, I've gotten two epics from doing this, green prints, but I've gotten 12 uncommons. So to, uh, we're gonna go and create a brand new NFT with an action image, a diorama, a lore tablet, and a lore coin. It will cost us 27,562 shell. So we just go ahead here and hit craft green print. And we just approve this message. So that was the first fail that I've had and since I can remember. So now what happens is my NFTs used for crafting are on a cooldown for 12 hours which will be at 5 in the morning and uh, all of my that 27,000 shell selenium has been consumed so that's only happened to me twice or three times like only two times that I can remember since the entire time that I've done this so um, no yeah three times so it rarely rarely happens but dang well that's part of the game so that craft usually results in a 95% of the time result because that was my first craft in a 24 hour period and it's usually a guaranteed success rate so that happens though so um, I don't have any 3d figures but what we can do is live that common life and go ahead and 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 this is very risky I will show the uh, the risks for it right now So, we're getting into green print boosting here. Green print boosting. We're going to go ahead, since we only have a, com an, a common ascendant orb, we're going to take one common green print and one common ascendant orb. This will cost 50,000 selenium. Alright, so here we go. Let's boost this green print. 
I'm excited. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What is about to happen? Green print boosting was successful. Stats have increased. Ascendant orb was used for boosting and was consumed. So, we've went from almost doubling our strength and adding good speed and intellect and luck. My agility and resilience were not affected, but I will claim this boosted cat common green print and be happy. I approve. Here we go. We were successful, so. There we go. We just boosted our first green print. That's exciting. All right. Well, we were unsuccessful in our available for staking. We can stake some promos. Look at that. We can generate uh, another 90, uh, 81 shell per hour by staking these two Albert OG promos. Well, there we go. We needed something. We needed a little boost. So there. We've got nine stake promos now. But yeah, as you can see, it 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 um, you can lose five of your green prints doing this, you know, and uh, that's only one of the uh, the four options. But it is an option. This is my first time doing a green print uh, boost, so we are about that common life. It will be the cheapest. And oh my gosh, we are doing uncommon. We are doing an uncommon green print boost right now. Oh man. Okay. We're going to go ahead and select turtle cat rabbit all of them. I mean, I feel like should I have all like do I have 12 turtles? I don't even think I have. Let's select all of my turtles. Oh, my sweet turtles. Yeah, so we're going to go for a turtle cat. We are about that turtle cat life. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, one more, one more cat. So we've got a, an even turtle cat mix here. Okay. Uncommon. All right, we've got... Okay, we're recording. My hands are shaking. Got the, I mean, all right, here we go. Base selenium for this. Five hundred thousand selenium for a green print fusion. If we go over here to crafting. All right, let's do it. We're going with our first green print fusion. I am nervous because this is a a hefty. Hefty selection here. Five hundred thousand selenium. Fuse green prints. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh! So the reason that we would craft, uh, do a green print fusion, is to create that orb, and. What, why we need the orb is to be able to make our armor. Um, you need five orbs in, in order to fuse the orbs and create a better orb. Um, like you saw me doing with the green print boosting, you're going to use those orbs, which get consumed when you boost them, and to create better green prints. So you use these orbs to boost your green prints in order to have the best possible green print to pre present to the greensmith, say that five times fast. Present greensmith the green print the greensmith print green print. How many green prints could you green print to present to the greensmith if you could green print green print? And ultimately make that anima armor. Unfortunately, I don't have a forager except for the seasonal forager. So if we go over to missions. You see, that's my forager Gary there. So you go over here and collect these materials. 
and these are the mats that you need in order to construct your anima armor. I only have collected soul, so uh, as soon as I get a forager that I'm able to, and a greensmith, then uh, I will be in here showing you the last final step of phase one of Green Rabbit, which is constructing my anima armor in a magical ceremony. So that's super exciting. However, if you go over straight to Atomic Hub, you can go to the Green Rabbit, search for Green Rabbit in the market, and go to Green Prints, and then you can also hit uh, Price Lowest right here. And as you can see, we've got some very cheap options for Green Prints. So instead of having to craft every day to create and risk not getting the green print we can just go over to the market here and buy some green prints just like that now we have another common green print that we can use in order to craft and create orbs so that's one thing to do because you do run the chance of losing uh, five of your green prints to create one of those orbs so just like that we can go through and buy some green prints however you should look at the stats before buying them unlike I'm doing um, because even these base ones will have different stats there is a hover over option and so you can see their their stats there so you can see this uh, cat has 81 strength I uh, can't really show you there like that but. so let's go over to the orbs so as you can see here are our orbs and as you just witnessed I consumed my orb just uh, to boost the stats of that green print and as you can see now the floor of these orbs is 2.57 wax or 81 cents USD at the current time so that's the cost of that so that's why you're able to just go ahead and craft these orbs with a green print fusion. So you can see the, the difference there. So yeah. We are fusing! Okay, when I approve this transaction, this is history. Okay, this is my first green print fusion. I don't want to touch my mouse. I am terrified. Uncommon Ascendant Orb! Green prints were fused successfully! Oh my gosh! NFTs used for GP Fusion have been consumed. Shillinium cost has been consumed. Wow! Okay, so I got an, an Uncommon Ascendant Orb. In doing so, I've lost all 10 of those, I've traded all 10 of those Uncommon Green Prints that I've spent all this time crafting to get that orb. So this is my first time. This is exciting. Uh, we, we've got an orb. We are orb life up. So now I can take, um, go over here and click uncommon orb. And now I'm able to boost my uncommon um, green prints. However, Oh, I do have one more attempt. Dang, are we just gonna throw 750k Shillinium right now? Or should we wait? Is there a success rate for these orbs? I'm gonna wait. We'll find out next time. <laughs> Is in your wax wallet. So I've got, you know, the 14 million shell. That'll reflect in a second if I hit refresh. I've spent some shillinium. And if you go to gr play.greenrabbitgame.io and go to the store, right here is the old Solstice small gift pack that no one wanted to buy because it didn't have the limited edition forager with only like a 2% drop rate. So that's why no one bought the rest of these small packs. But this is where the forager packs were. So everyone who qualifies for the whitelist for these forager packs is able to buy them uh, with their shillinium. So. 
un yeah, 10 million shell for a Genesis Forager pack. So, I've got it, but I'm not on the whitelist for the Greensmith and all that good stuff. But when I am, we will be in here fusing it up. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this exciting episode of Green Rabbit. We're in here fusing and doing big things. I hope you enjoyed the alpha gameplay preview. Uh, I will leave the all of the information for Nanotopia TV and Green Rabbit in the description below, so go check that out. The link for the Discord will be in there. Uh, like and subscribe to Nanotopia TV if you'd like to see uh, only Green Rabbit content. So thank you so much for stopping by. Another exciting game of blockchain gaming. Stay spicy, drink some water. You're awesome, you're loved, and I'll see you soon. See ya.